Hi friends, this is Shrekas Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this video, we shall understand how to work with ASP.NET Ajax Accordion Control. Let us try to first understand what is Accordion Control and then we shall understand how to use this Accordion Control with a simple example and later we will try to understand how to work with Accordion Control with the support of database. Now let's try to first observe what is accordion. We can just try to understand an accordion control is a web control that can be considered as a collection of accordion pans and display them at a time. Each accordion pan control has a template for its header and its content. Now let's try to understand what are the properties that are available we have a property called as selected index, which is to specify which pan we wanted to select it. We have some CSS for accordion, something like header CSS class, header selected CSS class, and content CSS class. These CSS class, once we set with a style sheet class name, we will try to get the styles for the accordion header content when you select a header. We have a property called as fade transitions. When we try to change from one accordion pan to the other accordion pan, if you wanted to provide some kind of fade in effects, then we can set the fade transition as true or false. And when we try to specify the fade transition, what is the transition duration you wanted to take and how many frames per second you wanted to set, we can just specify that. We have a property called as auto size to specify the size for the accordion. By default, when we try to work with the accordion, minimum one accordion pan has to be expanded. If I say that we don't want to specify that thing, then we can take the support of required open pan as false so that uh, we don't have to open one accordion also and we have a property like suppress header postbacks which is to suppress the postbacks when you try to click on the header by raising some client events we have a property called as pants to maintain the collection of accordion pants we have two templates one is a header template as well as the content template whatever the styles that you are going to specify or the bootstrap templating that we try to use it that will be used for rendering the accordion. In case if you wanted to work with the accordion with respect to, to the database, then we can take the support of data source. And if any data source control ID is used, we can set it through data source ID and we can set the data member. These are all the properties that can be used with the accordion. Now let's try to first understand with a simple demo how to get started with accordion and also in this video we shall understand how to use this accordion with the database. I already opened my visualstudio.net now let's try to add a form. The name I just try to specify for the web form as accordion basic demo. In order to work with the Ajax control toolkit, the first control we require is your script manager. So in the previous version, we used to use toolkit script manager. Now we will be using script manager. Toolkit script manager has been removed from this latest version. And in order to use the accordion, I try to place the accordion control. Now one small difference you can just find it. That is in the previous version, you will get a whole lot of DLL kits added. Now you can just try to observe it. A single DLL has been added. If you just wanted to understand it, just check out the first video on the client-centric programming model introduction. Now once I place the accordion, I just mentioned that accordion is going to be a collection of pants. So let us try to write the code manually for better understanding this. So accordion is going to be a collection of pants where the pants is going to maintain the accordion. So I can simply say accordion pan 
run it equal to server. This is going to be one single pan that's going to be available for us, where each and every accordion pan will have a header. Let me just try to uh, use, for example, chapter one. And this is going to have the content. So let us try to specify some particular content. Run at equal to server. And I just try to provide some background color for this thing. I just given a color as yellow, a paragraph with some information. Now, this is one particular accordion pan we have just created. Let us try to have a copy of uh, accordion pans for understanding it better. Where I try to specify this is going to be my chapter 4 to have a difference. Let me just try to give a different uh, color. I just given us orange. Chapter 3. Sky blue. Chapter 2. I just try to specify. Okay, so once we have done with this thing, let us try to execute and check out how this is going to work now. So we have an accordion. Accordion consists of uh, pans and we have just created some couple of pans within it where each pan is going to have a header as well as a content. We can just have any kind of content as per our requirement. We can just set it. Now we can just try to observe it. We have this thing. One accordion pan has been opened. Now when I just try to click on the other, we can just try to observe it. We are getting the details properly. Okay, by default, minimum one accordion pan will be open for us. So in this way, we can just work with a simple accordion. Now let us try to understand how do we use this accordion with the support of database. For this, let me just try to first add a model. I just try to add a app code folder. Within this, I simply say add a new item. I select adivo.net entity model. I just give a name as northwinddb.edmx as I just wanted to use a Northwind database. I would like to generate from the database a new connection, SQL server. So I just connect to my server. Let me just try to provide my credentials. The database I wanted to use is Northwind. I just test the connection. The connection is succeeded. I click on OK. I would like to include the sensitive data in the connection string. This is the data context that is going to be mapping to our uh, database. I say next, entity framework 6. I would like to select tables like categories and products to use in my accordion. Once the entity model has been created, I click on OK. Once the entity model has been created, I click on build solution to build the solution. Since the database is available, now let us try to add a web form. Now, this particular application, we shall try to understand completely by typing it manually. So what I try to do was, let me try to take the bootstrap for styling it. So I take bootstrap.min.cs and I just go for accord, title as accordion, demo with database. I would like to use a container, the first row. I would like to have a header saying that uh, accordion demo with db. I would like to have the next row. Let me first place the script manager. 
and also let me place my accordion control here just to make the thing simple so we just have this thing now once we got the script manager and the accordion we can just try to apply some kind of styles for this thing say whenever the header class is selected I just try to use some uh, the default is going to be a background primary and uh, in case if this particular has been selected I'll try to take a background as uh, info these are inbuilt uh, CSS provided by the bootstrap once we are done with this since I wanted to interact with the database let's try to write the code let me increase the font size so within the page load let's try to write with the code so I say using northwin entities we would like to get the data of the categories table so I say categories equal to any dot categories along with the categories table I wanted to get the details of the products also so I just include the products and I'm just trying to make it as a list now my requirement is for each category I wanted to create a accordion pan so where category in categories I would like to have an accordion pan so I say accordion pan which is going to be available under the Ajax control toolkit let me include the using namespace ap equal to accordion pan so every pan should have a unique id so i simply specify id equal to category dot category name so i'm just trying to provide the category name itself as the id for the accordion pan and this requires the header as well as the content so what i try to do is accordion pan dot header container dot controls dot add here my requirement is a simple category name I wanted to add as the header since the category name is a string I would like to add it as a literal control so new literal control category dot category name so once we just added this as the header my next requirement is I just wanted to get the list of the products belonging to that category as the content to do that I would like to have a grid view control so GV equal to new grid view control to make it proper I would like to assign the styles for the grid view also so I try to simply use a styles like table table border table hub these are some bootstrap styles for applying to the table if you have not familiar with bootstrap please check out my video series on bootstrap next I say that gv dot data source equal to category dot products dot to list so I'm going to get the list of products belonging to the category as the data source for my grid view then I simply say grid view dot data bind I just say accordion pan dot content container dot controllers dot add and I just try to add the grid view control once we added this thing next what I want to do is this accordion pan should be added on to our accordion pan control so I simply say accordion one dot pans dot add accordion pan so let's try to recap the code we just got the data from the database categories including the products we are trying to iterate the category within the categories creating individual accordion pan for the category every accordion pan id has been set with the category name every accordion pan will have the header as well as the content the header i'm just preparing is a literal control to get the data of the category name and for the content i prepared a control called as a grid view control getting the data from the products based on the categories information binding it to the accordion content container and then that accordion pan I just added on to the accordions.
Now let me just try to make this as a startup page. Execute this. So we can just try to observe this thing. This is what we have it. So when I just try to select this particular option, you will be getting this details. Okay, by default, you can see that minimum one accordion pan has to be opened for us. In case if you say that, no, I don't want it to have like this, zero accordions can be opened. Then what we can do is, we can just try to simply set a property for the accordion saying that required open pan equal to false. So once I just specify this thing, let me just try to reload this page. We can just click on it. We can see that it's going to be closing for us. Okay. Now, in case when you're trying to perform this thing, if you wanted to provide some kind of fade in, fade out FX type, then you can just simply specify fade transitions equal to true. Let me just try to reload this page. We can just try to observe a small fade in effect you're going to get it when I'm going to use this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, you can just reach me to my mail ID shakeronline 4 at gmail.com. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Shaker Online for You. This encourages me to produce more and more videos. If any training requirements for corporates or online trainings or consultants requires any training for their trainings, then please contact me to my contact number 901092169 991890241. Thanks for watching this video.